17 years ago, and they will do it again. Man, what a fantastic fight, and I would hope that this one will be just as good. I mean, we'll see. Certainly a lot different stages of their careers, Chael. So we're going to do a little five rounds on Diaz and Lawler. What would you say is the draw for this fight? Like, why? Wh what is the draw for, for the audience in this one? Nostalgia. Come on. You got a world champion in Lawler. You got an icon in Nick Diaz. And by the way, what do these two not have right? I mean, they, they found each other in the octagon, as we just saw, 17 years ago. They chased each other through strike force. We're back in the UFC. I've never got a clear answer on why or what happened 17 years ago that has bothered one or both of them to think that they're going to do it again. And there's no clear jumping off here, point, George, right? Nick has been out a meaningful period of time. And all fairness, Robbie Lawler has not got a whole lot of octagon minutes in in the last couple of years. In many ways, that's a wash. Yeah, I'm with you wholeheartedly on the nostalgia part of it. Look, we love nostalgia in, in sports, period. It's why rivalries exist sure. in team sports, right? Um, it's why we love to see, you know, these combatants go at it multiple times when they give us good fights. Now, generally, we don't see them 17 years later. Uh, so I would imagine there's not much you can draw from in a fight 17 years later. But I I'll ask you this. When you look at the realities of these two guys, particularly with Nick Diaz, the long layoffs are there for these guys. How does that factor in? And look, Nick Diaz, death by a thousand cuts is his philosophy. He's going to come out and touch you nonstop. He likes to stay busy. He likes to make a small investments early in the fight that pay off later. Robbie Lawler, seek and destroy. And Robbie Lawler is stubborn. And you always want to compliment a guy for his fight IQ. I got to say the opposite for Robbie Lawler. I don't love his fight IQ. He's stubborn. This is a great wrestler from Iowa, George. Did you know that by watching his career? Can you tell me one match where he's gone out, hit a double leg, and kept the opponent down, even though that's a skill set that he brings in? Look, Robbie Lawler's going to play into Nick's hand. I can assure you that. He's going to come out. He's looking to look to take Nick's head off. This question starts to become, how much damage can Robbie do early versus what we know or at least believe history tells us Nick is going to do late? And don't forget, they've added two rounds. This is a five-round contest. All right, so let me ask you that. Why sign on for a five-rounder if you're these two guys other than just, I guess, the nostalgia of it, right, and the fact that it's, it's a fight that we loved 17 years ago? I mean, what do you think about it? George, I don't think there's a better answer than that. I think Dana White found two guys that want to fight each other that the whole world wants to fight, and he found a way to get us a potential 10 extra minutes. I don't think there's any more sophisticated of an answer, and if somebody tries to tell us one, I don't think that they're being very direct with us, all right? We, the audience, gets to pay the same price, and we get potentially two more rounds, and not for nothing, but if Nick Diaz is going to come back, he's going to come back for one thing, which is title aspirations. Now, whether he can do those and those are realistic is a different conversation. That's not what you asked me. And showing that he can go all 25 minutes is one of the biggest clues to Dana White, who's going to be the decision maker here, that, yeah, you are championship material. Now, look, I, I was going to ask you about the motivation at the tail end of someone's career, right? And both these guys are in that particular category. You've kind of alluded to it already. Not kind of. You did, right? Nick Diaz will want a title fight, perhaps, sooner rather than later. Now, with Lawler, what is the motivation here late in his career? Look, I can only take Lawler at his word because this booking did catch me off guard. I'm going, wait a minute, you boys did business 17 years ago. You didn't say boo 17 days or even 17 minutes after it happened. What is this? They chased themselves uh, around Strike Force. They almost got matched up over there by Scott Coker. Dana buys the whole organization, gets those contracts back. Why? What is it that you guys don't seem to get along? And Robbie Lawler isn't going to tell you. And quite frankly, Nick Diaz isn't going to tell you. But I'm pretty confident that they're at least is something. Something has rubbed one or both of them the wrong way. Something about that night, they both felt that they could have overshined or overperformed. And Robbie Lawler said, there's not a lot of things at this point in my career that can get me up and get me motivated. Nick Diaz does just that, and that's why I took the fight, end quote. So those are Robbie's words. Okay, fair enough. So I, you've kind of mentioned it a little bit because you mentioned how stubborn uh, Lawler can be. Do you believe that this fight plays out in a Diaz victory, or how do you see it? Okay, one thing on the blueprint for Robbie Lawler, and these guys have both been doing it so long, we know what it takes at least 
fundamentally to beat him. Take Nick Diaz down. Go ahead and hold him there. Gain some favor with the judges. Nick doesn't agree that he can't win from the fight. He's yet to find a judge who thinks that he can, but that's still the way to get the job done with Robbie Lawler. you got to get him into the second and third round. Robbie Lawler will fall apart. He comes out like a tornado. He doesn't like to warm up in the back, so he doesn't get some of that, uh, those fluids and some of that out. He doesn't get his second win. Now, that's an old blueprint back when they fought the first time. Robbie Lawler, when he went on his run to become the champion of the world, his wars with Johnny Hendricks, by example, his war uh, with Carlos Condit, his war with Robbie, uh, Rory McDonald, he all of a sudden becomes Mr. 20 minute in fighter, Mr. 24 and 25 minutes. Robbie all of a sudden, when he switched his training to Florida, whatever the relevance to that tie-in was, all of a sudden, he's the guy that can go all night. He's a big marathon runner out there, and that is very different. And that's not a Robbie Lawler we see every single time, but that is what we have seen of late. And if he brings a Robbie Lawler that goes better in the last round than he goes in the first round, this is a whole new set of problems for Nick Diaz. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.